What's up, people? I got an update on a pair of tactical pants that I reviewed two weeks ago. And in that video, which you can go and look at if you'd like to, I left it up if you want to check it out, uh, where I reviewed these tactical insulated pants by Victos called the War Torn um, Insulate. Uh, I said that there was a high price point, over $100 for these. They did, they were comfortable, they fit nice, they stretched very well. Uh, the insulation for winter time wasn't that great, but still kept the wind out better than what I was wearing, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, the problem was, is that after a month of continuous wear, Monday through Friday, and washing them every single day, they deteriorated. They tore in multiple spots where I showed you. It was after a month. And I figured the winter isn't that long. I'm going to wear these. I'm comfortable with them. Okay, for me, personally, the price point wasn't that bad. I still wish they were a lot cheaper than what I'm about to show you. But I got a month out of them. Anyway, in that video, I was wearing these. A pair of brand new pants from them. The same exact ones that I showed you just to demonstrate what they look like. I had these for a week and they failed in the same spots that I showed you in the video. It, actually a little worse. Here's one of the failure points right by the pocket and where the seam is. You can see right here, you see that? See that right there? Uh, that was terrible. One week. I don't even think I got to Friday. And here's the other part that's starting to fail right here. You see this? Already worn through in one week's time. Oh, and here's a little part where the stitching is starting to come up. For $140, these are garbage. Victos War Torn should just be called Victos Torn. Sorry. I'm, I'm really irritated because I try to stay positive in that first review. I showed you all the problems with them. I liked wearing them. They're great when they're brand new and you put them on. Uh, they do stop the wind fairly well. I work outside. They're very comfortable. They're way too expensive and they fail too quickly. This is just not, this is unacceptable. This right here, this one rip seems to be one of their major problems on their pocket right here because it failed in the same exact spot on the other pair of pants just not as bad so i got a month out of the other ones these are ripped r r really easily the problem i have is that these pants are made the company was started by a bunch of veterans that's what they claim on the website how can you put out something for that your target audience is other veterans and you put out garbage like this uh, I'm pissed. They probably never field tested these pants because they suck. They absolutely suck. $140. I'm going to show you a pair of pants that I do recommend. And I'm not, uh, I don't have a sponsor. I'm not being paid to say this. I just believe in quality. Okay. Now, the reason why I wear these type of pair of pants outside is because of climbing up and down ladders, you know, um, sitting on the ground. You know, just, you expect to get a little bit of wear and tear. But I want to show you something. Uh, these are the pair of pants that I swear by. And let me see if it has a, a price on it. For a fraction of the cost. Let me see. Does not have the price on here. It's a fraction of the cost. These are made by Condor, okay? This is the type of quality that I would expect military style tactical pants to be made out of uh, the nylon it's 70 percent polyester i believe a 70 30 blend polyester 70 percent 30 percent cotton i have never had a pair of these wear through and i mean i have a pair of these that i've been wearing for two years straight two years straight no failure points anywhere along the way uh reinforced you can see this pocket let me see if I can show you a good shot here. Look at this. You see that? How it's reinforced right there? Like there's an, another added lip. It goes at the bottom part where there's things are going to be clipped here. And the uh, pocket itself is also double stitched. 
Um, they come in all different colors too. If you want black, tack, uh, khaki, they come in woodland style green. Like this is forest green, I believe. They also have an OD green. Um, these are what I recommend over the Victos. Now, I don't know who owns and operates Condor. I don't know if they're veteran owned. This is how you make a pair of pants. This is what quality looks like. And for cheaper, I mean, I'm still pissed off that I wasted money on these. So it's such a shame because I really like them too. They really, they really are comfortable. I mean, I wouldn't even, I couldn't even recommend these for any type of activity. Even if you were hiking in the woods, even hiking, they're just, I'd be afraid they're going to tear. This is terrible. This is just terrible quality. And it's such a letdown. Go watch the first video I did. I was very optimistic. I tried to stay optimistic with these, but oh well. Right in the trash. $140 gone. Uh, I'm going to stick with Condor. And I do, I also have a lot of gear from 511 Tactical that are very, very comfortable. This type of stuff is really, really about comfort. Uh, if you have to squat down or sit, you know, when you're outside or um, you're constantly up and down on like a ladder or you're around a lot of dirt and grime or whatever, these things are great. Better than jeans, better than anything that I've, I've come across. Um, so that's pretty much why I've been using these. Anyway. I'll have a link for both. No, actually, I take that back. I don't recommend Victos anymore, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have a link. You can look it up yourself. I will have a link for the Condor pants, which I do recommend, and these are 100% across the board. Never had any problems with them. Um, I don't know if what else they make as far as other gear goes, but their pants on point. Seriously, on point. Real good. Anyway. That's all I got. Got any questions for me? You might be wondering, why is he talking about pants? It's a car channel. Well, we review everything. If we get it, we review it. We'd let you know whether or not it's worth it. And we try to be as unbiased as possible. As you can tell, I went from being semi-positive last two weeks ago with the Victos to, like, they're, they're trash. And, and it hurts me to say that because I had such high hopes for this company. Listen, if somebody from Victos is out there, you're watching... You may want to really take this to heart because as a veteran, your quality is subpar, subpar, but it has the potential to be better. I don't know. Find out what the Condor pants are, how these are made, and just use this material to make those insulated ones. Best of both worlds. I'll be super happy and bring the price down. Come on, $140 for a pair of pants like that. You're like charging me like it's CIF. So anyway. That's it. Rant over. Pants suck. Don't recommend. Condor pants, great. Recommend. Drop me a comment below. Before you go, click the like button. Click the little bell notification. If you like the content we put out, click the super thanks button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Last but not least, you guys and girls, all be safe. That's all I got. I'm out.